five things about moving to Sarasota, Florida. Hi everybody, this is Beth Hellaby with Control Real Estate. I hope you're doing good today. Now, first thing to not do moving to Florida is try not to bring your Northern furniture. It's big, it's bulky, it's dark, and with the way our floor plans are set up, it may very well not even fit. So if you can leave it behind, do so. And a lot of people, when they sell their houses here, they sell them furnished. So you'll have a couch to sit on, you'll have a table to eat at, and then you can kind of um, sell that stuff or give it away and buy things that suit your tastes more. Make Number two, make sure you have a quarterly pest control if you have a single family house. Our bugs don't die. We don't freeze, we don't get cold enough, our bugs are here year round. So that means that anything that flies or that crawls or that skitters or anything like that, you're gonna want that quarterly pest control to keep them out of your house. So make sure you do that. Number three, if this is your first summer here and you're moving here in late spring, early summer, that first summer is not necessarily the time to start a new exercise routine. Don't start jogging, biking, walking, or any sort of outdoor activity unless you're acclimated because especially here in August and September, not only are we hot, but we're very, very humid and it is hard for people to acclimate. What you need to do is start in the winter or start in the spring and get used to it. And also make sure you have your water with you. You're gonna need that. Number four, we do not have storage space. You do not have attic space here. You do not have basement space here. I know a lot of people are moving from up north and they're moving from a modest size house or a normal size house, but they've got giant basements and giant attics full of things. That stuff's not gonna fit. So you need to cull your stuff as you can. We store our stuff in our garage. And for some people, like myself, that means I can't pull my car in the garage because that is the only storage we have. You can't put anything in your attic because it's so hot and so humid up there that it's probably gonna get kind of moldy. So you don't wanna store anything up there. Five, and certainly not least, if you are living, working, staying, traveling, whatever near a body of water, and I don't mean the ocean, I mean lakes, ponds, canals, anything, assume there's a gator in it. We have gators everywhere. If you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Nine times out of 10, they're harmless. They'll skitter and they'll go away from you or they'll go back in the water and go to the other side. But what you need to make sure you do is don't feed anything in the water. Don't feed the gators, don't feed the ducks, don't feed the fish, don't feed the birds, because we don't want the gators to get used to seeing us as a food source. We don't want that to happen because we want them to be fine and left alone. But assume that there is a gator in the body of water, which also means, especially if you have pets, do not walk your pet at dusk or at dawn near the edge of the water because they are predators and that's where they hunt. Now, you don't really need to worry about that. My last house, I had three gators behind my house and everybody, including the dogs, were fine. Just be mindful of this. So this is Beth Halvey with Couture Real Estate. Those are five things that you probably want to know about moving here to Sarasota, Florida. If you have the opportunity to get outside and enjoy the sunshine, I'd encourage you to do so. Wear your sunscreen, drink a lot of water, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.